afternoon guys. So I have a major undercoat removal we're going to be doing. This girl has come in before. Um, the owners don't really bring her in often enough. It's usually about once or twice a year. And she's almost to the point this time of needing a complete shave down, but um, I think we'll be able to get just the undercoat out. So here's what she looks like. I've done her before on the channel. She usually gets a shave, um, a haircut, but it was scheduled wrong online. So I just told him, you know, you had scheduled only for a bath and that's all I have time to do today. So we're just going to do undercoat removal with the bath. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to get hot, you know, warm, warm water started. Um, I'm not going to turn it on soap. I need to get this undercoat out first. I'm just going to turn it to warm water and I am going to fill this entire thing up with water. Not all the way because we won't need all that, but then I'm going to use quite a bit of conditioner. Okay, then we're going to move this over. We're going to take this out of here. And put this in here. There you have conditioner water. You can tell how much undercoat she has because of how puffy she is. Just want to get her completely wetted down. Okay, that is not going as fast as I want it to, so. I'm going to dump this all over her. I don't know if the owners don't realize how bad of shape she's in or what, but I mean, every time she comes in, her coat is like this. It's just so rough. So we're just gonna get started. There's gonna be quite a bit of coat that's gonna come out. I've got a client here, I need to call them. All right, so since I am the only one that works here, sometimes I have to have my clients come in um, and get their dogs because I don't wanna leave a dog unattended. So she just came in and got her dog and then walked over here and, and paid through my phone um, because I'm not gonna leave a dog unattended. No, this way, you're right, girl. There you go. Okay, so now we're gonna get back to Undercoat.
me. You cannot brush all of this out. Um, there's just no way. You would not get it all out. So that is why I have the bathing system. If I did not have this bathing system, this dog 100% would have to be shaved. you sit? Sit. There you go. Or lay. That'll work.
drain is getting clogged up because it's not meant to handle this much hair coming out. You turned the water off. All right, girl, I need you to come over here. All right, so we're just going to, if you guys don't want to watch this part, you can skip ahead. Um, I, there's a lot of people that want to see every single thing that I have to do when I groom a dog. So I am not going to cut this part out. If you don't want to watch me clean the drain, then skip ahead. Easy, girl. Yeah, that's the edge. Stay there. This happens with all major D sheds, um, undercoat removals. Because there's a strainer down in my drain. And I'm sure it's it'll happen again, but we don't want that hair going down in that drain at all. You're asking for major, major drainage issues. Okay, there we go. Okay. Come over here. Come over here. All right, so going to dump this on her again. We're gonna rub it in and then we're gonna get started again.
girl. common for me to use half a gallon of conditioner when I do one of these dogs. The conditioner helps get the water underneath. It softens the hair, it gets the water underneath and shoots it out. It does not matter what kind of conditioner you use as long as you're using dog conditioner. Don't use people conditioner, please. take a break in a minute my back is hurting and my arm is starting to my forearm is starting to cramp up okay okay so I'm just gonna let her break for a minute. I'm gonna make some more conditioner. Um, and then I'm just gonna let my forearm rest a minute. It, it, it starts to hurt right in here. But we're getting closer to being done. Okay, we're gonna get this girl done. I made some more conditioner. It's not shaking up all the way. And then, I need to take this off so I can get to her full neck.
hand is hurting. I gotta empty this again. Put her back on here. Guys, remember, we haven't even bathed her yet. This is just the undercoat part. <laughs> Over here, girl. Over here. No, 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 no. You gotta stay over there. All this gets caught. Easy. Again, if you don't want to watch this, you can skip ahead. Just going to feel around. There is a major clump right here still. Come on, up here. Come on. Easy, easy, girl. Her stomach is still. Okay, so right here, there's a big clump. Her tail. So there's still a little bit of undercoat we need to get out. Okay, so now we're going to actually wash her with shampoo. Running out of hot water.
Remember, the rest of the hair that's not coming out in the bath will come out with the high velocity dryer. Okay, so now we're gonna rinse. Oh my goodness, guys, I got TikTok songs stuck in my head and I can't get them out. <sighs> Good old TikTok. Okay. So, now. Getting all the hair up that I can. Okay. So that is a really massive ball of hair. And there's even more down in there and there's gonna be even more when we dry her. So I'm gonna clean out the drain again real quick. I'm not gonna show you guys that. I've already shown it twice. Um, I want this longer, this video to be longer than it needs to be. So as soon as I get that cleaned out, we'll dry her. All right, cleaned out the drain. I sprayed her with some Shoshin. Shoshin um, just helps, you know, static and stuff.
guys i'm gonna get her in the cage dryer let her finish drying and then when she's all done we'll get her on the table brush her out do her nails and do all that so yeah sorry guys i didn't get to show you guys the final groom um i just looked up and they were sitting out there ready for her to you know ready for her to be picked up um and i didn't even think about recording until after i was already almost done um i'm sorry she looked really really good um you know, things happen, and uh, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.